Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of December 28, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell communication sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $67.12. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.1. energy sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Financial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy PayPal holdings. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $238.24. For call option, a possible call price is at $8.49. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Bank of America was a previous suggested put option. The striking price was bought at $30 and it will expire on January 22, 2021, exactly in 25 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.96, but we expect a possible put price at $1.1. Berkshire Hathaway was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Berkshire Hathaway is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 2.5 percent. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $222.6. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $228.41, unless is overvalued. Berkshire Hathaway was a previous suggested put option. The striking price was bought at $227.5, and it will expire on January 22, 2021, exactly in 25 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $4.08, but we expect a possible put price at $6.37. 
MasterCard Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $340.64, but we expect a possible sell price of $347.39. In addition, we suggest to stop selling MasterCard Incorporated if it is over 0.00% of your stock price trade. This is a new buy suggested put option. On the table, MasterCard Incorporated has a striking price at $337.5, and it will expire on February 5, 2021, exactly in 39 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $10.28, but we expect a possible put price at $6.32. U.S. Bancorp is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.9%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $46.43, but we expect a possible sell price of $47.88. In addition, we suggest to stop selling U.S. Bancorp if it is over 0.65% of your stock price trade. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Crown Castle is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $153.69, but we expect a possible sell price of $160.29. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Crown Castle, if it is over 0.10% of your stock price trade. This is a new buy suggested put option. On the table, Crown Castle has a striking price at $155, and it will expire on January 29, 2021, exactly in 32 days. For this option, the actual put price is not available, but we expect a possible put price at $1.61. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Medtronic PLC is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $115.08. But we expect a possible sell price of $117.46. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Medtronic PLC. If it is over 0.45% of your stock price trade. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today. Our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy FedEx Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $269.87. For call option, a possible call price is at $5.38.
our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Union Pacific was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Union Pacific is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.7%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $202.06. But we expect a possible buy price of $201.33. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $206.95, unless is overvalued. Union Pacific was a previous suggested put option. The striking price was bought at $205. And it will expire on January 29, 2021, exactly in 32 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $6.95 but we expect a possible put price at $6.51. Material sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Ecolab Incorporated is a strong buy suggestion. It is on the bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $214.83. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Ecolab Incorporated. If it is below 0.15% of your stock price trade. This is a new buy suggested call option. On the table, Ecolab Incorporated has a striking price at $210. And it will expire on February 5, 2021, exactly in 39 days. For this option, the actual call price is not available. But we expect a possible call price at $8.7. discretionary sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Roku Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $349.76. For call option, a possible call price is at $9.83. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Philip Morris. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $83.68. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.94. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Kraft Heinz Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $34.97. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.63. Costco Wholesale was a previous suggested put option. The striking price was bought at $367.5, and it will expire on January 22, 2021 exactly in 25 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $6.33, but we expect a possible put price at $10.48. 
technology sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Intel Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 8.1%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $47.45. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.39. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Facebook Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $273.21. For put option, a possible put price is at $5.33. Facebook Incorporated is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $273.21, but we expect a possible sell price of $274.6. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Facebook Incorporated if it is over 1.40% of your stock price trade. Communication sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy AT&T. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $28.83. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.31. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Utility sector ETF was a previous suggested call option. The striking price was bought at $61.5, and it will expire on January 29, 2021, exactly in 32 days. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.23, but we expect a possible call price at $1.5. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Dominion Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $73.75. For call option, a possible call price is at $2.06. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Duke Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $89.59. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.77. Southern Company was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Southern Company is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $59.49, but we expect a possible buy price of $59.4. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $62.04, unless it's overvalued. Southern Company was a previous suggested put option. The striking price was bought at $60, and it will expire on January 29, 2021, exactly in 32 days. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.56, but we expect a possible put price at $1.43. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.